What's up, guys? We are back for another skin preview for the skins coming out this week. And we're starting off with the Army Armor Gloves, which match the Army boots that we got last week. And um, I have to say, they are some of the nicest looking gloves I have seen so far. These are definitely ones I picked up myself, and I just kind of love the way they look. So uh, definitely something neat if you like that kind of uh, military uh, look to your skin. Next up, we've got the Chromed Crossbow, and um, not one I personally like, but it's actually a really nice design. Um, I'm just not into the crossbow because my aim sucks, so that's, uh, don't, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But I think it's been done uh, very well. It looks quite nice, and uh, we'll go ahead and pull it up here in the first person. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it, the only thing is it does kind of look like it's made out of materials that we don't have in the game. But, uh, you know, it's a skin, so that's kind of just how it works, so, but uh, definitely a nice looking crossbow. Next up, if you're looking for a cool, uh, out of the ordinary revolver, there's the Frostbitten Revolver, and uh, this thing is uh, pretty cool looking, actually. We'll go ahead and pull it up into the hand. And, uh, yeah, it's got a nice little design. It looks like it's completely uh, frosted over which is neat, and uh, again, uh, revolver's not really something I personally use, but if you're looking for a unique revolver skin, this one is definitely uh, very unique. Next up, we've got our first accepted table skin, and it's the off-the-grid table, and uh, it's just kind of a simple table, but it's got some cool little stuff here up on the top. It shows kind of like a blueprint, like, oh, this is where we're going to break into the base, and this and that. Uh, it's got an in-game map, tic-tac-toe, uh, SOS for uh, the little hangman there, and then top keck. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of funny, but I've seen some way more creative ones. So, I, I, I'm not, you know, dissing on Fred the Dog here or anything, but uh, there's definitely some way more detailed ones, like poker tables, uh, foosball table, things like that. And uh, hopefully we get to see those here in the future, but this is a good start. Next up, we've got the Urban Vending Machine, which is uh, actually pretty cool looking. It's got kind of a little uh, Pac-Man alien feel kind of going to it. And uh, there's just a lot of work uh, given into the art style of it, which is really cool. And uh, I think it's a neat skin. So if you're looking for something unique, whoop, whoop, getting all blurry. Looking for something unique for your uh, shop, this might be a skin for you. Uh, next up, we've got the Danger Chair. And uh, quite a name there. Yeah. Um, Nothing really too special, but I mean, if you like the look of it, eh, it's a chair. Honestly, I think things like maybe the chair and the rug should maybe be 50 cents. Uh, I think $1.50 is a little bit steep for an item you can't even sit in quite yet. Um, of course, that will eventually be added, but uh, for the time being, I think maybe 50 cents would be a little bit more appropriate for uh, such skins. Uh, next up, we've got another chair here, and it's the Royal Recliner. I actually picked this one up myself just because it, it just looks so uh, cool. I like the Royal Red color to it and everything. This one has a little more detail to it. I still feel like it should be under a buck, but uh, just for the sheer fact that they are chairs. But uh, if you're looking for a neat little chair to finish up your little, uh, maybe, I don't know, throne room or your own personal you know dinner table or something where you're going to chop up people as your guests, uh, this might be for you. Next up, we've got the Soviet carpet, and uh, it's just a nice looking carpet. I mean, that that's pretty much it. If you're looking for a new carpet, uh, this is it for you. Again, I feel like these things should be about 50 cents, just because um, it's just a, a random deployable. So, one of those kind of things. But anyways, if you're looking for a neat rug, this one's actually pretty nice. It can tie your living room together, if you get the reference there. And uh, yeah, so there's definitely a lot of rugs out there, and I'm sure we'll see more in the future. Speaking of rugs, we've got our panda bear skin rug, and I just had to get this one because it's a panda bear. Why Why wouldn't you? And, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's a panda bear rug, so why not get it? Next up, we've got the Ruthless Riot Helmet. Again, it's a very nice-looking Riot Helmet skin, uh, but, uh, you know, Riot Helmet isn't really useful for anything. So, again, hopefully armor sets start to get more balanced in the future, and this gets maybe a full riot gear set, and it will be, like, the go-to for melee combat. Of course, melee combat isn't really anything that happens in the game either, so uh, we'll just have to see. It's a shame that a lot of these really nice skins that get accepted don't really see much use in the game. Next up, we've got the Clockwork Portal Door, 
from Xtab, and it is beautiful as always. And I'm one of those people who like the uh, Mechana or like uh, steampunk kind of theme stuff, and this is really cool. But to me, it's one of those doors that doesn't fit any of the building materials. So it doesn't really look that great with wood. It looks okay with stone. It looks awful with scrap metal, and it looks okay with armored. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's just kind of doesn't quite fit with the game. It's really beautiful. It's really nice. It's detailed But I feel like it doesn't really look like anything that belongs in rust and the other side of it Of course has a completely different design, which is nice and like I said x tap always makes these really great detailed Items I just feel like this one personally uh, doesn't really fit in with the theme of rust Next up without feeling completely contradictive uh, the rust punk vending machine here actually looks really cool. I love it. I picked it up and I, I think I feel like it fits a little more because it has more of a carved wood look to it, even though it's made of metal. And uh, it just kind of reminds me of uh, something you would see in Borderlands. And uh, it, it's actually really well done. Uh, this is one I voted for getting into the game and I'm glad to see it here. So, you know, uh, if you guys are looking for a sweet, unique looking uh, vending machine, this is definitely one for you. Next up, we've got the aircraft parts fridge, and um, I don't know, it's a, it's kind of a little bit of a weird looking refrigerator, but the design is definitely really cool. So if you're looking for more of a, like a high-tech looking refrigerator, that sounds a little bit weird, uh, this skin is probably for you. If you guys remember a little while ago, there was a crimson head wrap added, and that head wrap was a copyright infringement, while well, this is its replacement. So, uh, yeah, if you kind of like the look of that one, uh, you can now get the version that isn't infringing on anyone's rights. Next up, we've got the Hazard uh, Sap, and I like it. It looks nice. This, the color scheme is actually really great. But, again, I feel like we already have this skin because it really looks like the Workbench Sap skin. Uh, they are actually pretty identical to each other. So, again kind of waiting for more variation in the game right now. Uh, it'd be a lot nicer to have very different things before we start seeing similar things. So it's kind of like this, like with the Crimson uh, AK and the Alien AK. I feel like this is another one of those situations where it's a really nice skin, but it, I feel like it's not needed because we already have something that looks similar to it. So, you know, if you guys could maybe work on some more variation out there, it'd definitely be really cool. Uh, next we up, uh, we've got the PVC hat, which shows up as blue but in the workshop it is black so i don't know if that's a bug or what's supposed to be but honestly it's kind of ridiculous um i i guess this one is another one of those times where the skin is added for the lols because i i really i i don't see the appeal to it personally myself other than to look ridiculous so uh but hey you want to look silly for a buck 50 uh i guess this pvc hat is for you for those of you out there looking for cowboy-esque weapon skins, we've got the Western Water Pipe Shotgun. Everyone loves the Water Pipe. It's a nice early game weapon, and uh, we've got this skin added this week. 12,000 upvotes. It was definitely very popular to the masses, and you can see it's actually a pretty nice-looking Water Pipe. I, I like the colors of it all together. Um, there is another Water Pipe skin added this week, which is the one I picked up out of the two, but that's just because earlier, like I said, I'm biased to the Rust Punk stuff. So anyways, uh, this is definitely a nice little water pipe, uh, worth picking up. Next up, we've got a nice wavy looking sword, and it's uh, the Chris, I guess. And uh, there's some little bit of detail to it here and there. All together, it's pretty neat looking. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a fancy little sword to go and slice people up uh, and, you know, chop up them naked on the beach, uh, then this might be the cool sword for you. Ever feel like there isn't enough urban outfits in rust well if you want that nice urban feel you can get the graffiti bucket helmet full-on with is that is that one of the Beatles you guys are all gonna yell at me for not knowing who this is but that's interesting there um, huh well anyways <laughs> Uh, this skin is actually uh, pretty cool looking if you want to have that unique uh, either I'm a crazy painter or I'm an urban street thug that can't afford a real helmet. Uh, 
situation. So definitely a unique one. Next up is the Rose's Makeshift uh, Short Sword uh, from X-Tab. And it's, uh, it's a pretty neat looking sword. Again, as X-Tab is famous for his extreme amount of detail to things. You can see there's a beautiful kind of like rose flower pattern on the blade. And it's plenty rusty and dinged up to fit into the game. So uh, if you're looking for a decorative wrench sword uh, to beat people and slice folks apart, uh, this one may be for you. And last but not least, we're finishing up with yet another X-Tab skin this week. He's gotten quite a few of them, but we can't deny that there is some good fancy work from there. We have yet another addition into the Rust Punk skin collection, and it's the Rust Punk water pipe and uh, this guy's really nice the amount of detail to it is astonishing uh, you have to really just kind of take a close-up look to this thing and it's great I also just noticed that the character's hand is turning like really red because of this writing uh, lighting it's very strange but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this week's preview uh, definitely some better skins than the last couple of times I would say there's definitely a, quite a few of hidden gems out there still that I hope make it into the game eventually here but as always, leave a like, guys. I hope this helped you with your buying this week, and we will see you next time.